Hey everyone, this is going to be a short video. Um, I was scrolling through this pretty cool art website the other day. It's called artbreeder.com and I wanted to get a list of all the image URLs on a page for a separate project of mine. And I wasn't sure how to do that without logging in. Um, and this seemed quite manual and tedious for me to have to like right click on each individual image you see here in order to save the photo URL. So. To solve this, I decided to use jQuery and JavaScript to get all the image URLs. And so how I did that was I went to developer tools, and then I went to console, and then let's look at an image. I looked at exactly what the class was, its main underscore image. And then I used jQuery notation to kind of select all elements with that class name. So select all elements with class name main underscore image. And then now I need to figure out how to like get the style. And once I get the style, um, I can actually get the, URL, uh, get the URL from it. So um, I need to look up how exactly map function works in jQuery. So again, I have a list of elements and I wanna go through each individual element and do something to that element. So let's just do that. Let's try to return each style. And so we have all the styles for all 168 photos. And let's just choose the first one. I just need to do some prototyping here to see which exact um, location is the image URL. So I tried background image camel case. And it looks like that got me part of a URL with a bunch of extra strings. And I just want the part that's after this URL open friends slash apostrophe. So I'm going to split based on that backslash apostrophe. Okay, there we go. And it looks like the URL is in the second element. So if I do index one, that should give me the URL. Great. So now, now that I have that working, let's make sure that that is applied to every single individual um, image that's found in the map. So um, I'm just going to move that over to a new line here. And there we go. So let's do that. So background image, and then I'm going to split by backslash quotes. Okay. And then, yeah, let's see what that does. Cool. So that gets me for each image, it's going to show, you know, that three split thing. And then if I index one into that, again, a list of URLs. So that's the list of URLs. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to, let's just grab the first 50 images. So how do we do that? Well, in JavaScript, there is a function that's called slice. And what that does is it allows you to get a slice of a list. So let me show you. So whatever that output is, dot slice 0, 050. And it looks like I had a typo. It should be slice. There we go. So that gets me basically the first 50 items in that list. And if I open up a separate text editor, um, I'm, I use Visual Studio Code. Uh, let's make a Python file because that's what I'm planning on using after this um, and just set a bunch of URLs to that. So if I set that to a list, now I have access to this list. Um, and to just to check this for a little bit, I, um, I'm going to copy one of the images, the URLs, and kind of just make sure that that's actually going to show me the image. So let me just do a couple of these. Looks like that first one worked and the second one worked as well. So there you go. That's a quick demo of how programming, specifically JavaScript and jQuery, uh, helped me um, automate something that I was going to have to do manually that would have taken, you know, probably 30 minutes of my time. Uh, so anyway, that's all. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe. And if you're interested in um, watching more videos or if you have a suggestion for what you want to watch next, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, thanks.